Howdy guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at duplicating objects using the copy and paste feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, um, just a reminder, this is a mini series on duplicating objects and I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, in order to make a, a copy of this object, we obviously first need it selected. So this will also work with text or anything that can be placed in your design area. So in any case, to select this, we wanna make sure our selection tool is activated, which is here on our main toolbar, a little arrow. Then you select your object then there's a few ways we can go about copying and pasting this so um, one way is if we're looking on our standard toolbar we have this little two papers which is for copy we click that when, uh, once your object is selected and then we have paste here so now if we click that one it will give us this little box where we want to place it now there's a few things to keep in mind about before you place it if you um, press tab, you can um, change the origin of uh, where this copy is um, in, rele what, in relevant or relevant to your actual mouse cursor, which is the same as here on our design panel. So we can see here we've got the center, left, top, corners, and so forth. So if we press tab here, you will see now it's on the left, bottom corner, bottom, and so forth, to you back to the center. Just keep in mind the one you leave it on when you recopy and paste, it will keep that position. So you'll just have to reset it if you want it at the center. Now, if you just normal left click, it will make a copy. Or what you can do is we press escape and it will cancel it. So if you did not actually, let's say you copy paste, you didn't actually want it there, you can always just press escape. Otherwise you can click, but uh, one thing also to keep in mind with uh, when we dragged in the previous video with um, if you use control in, we can keep shift and it will lock the um, position you can say. So we can have a perfectly aligned. Where with this method, unfortunately, that does not work. If you keep shifting, nothing will happen. And now once again, so if you just left click, I'll make the copy for you. Now another way we can go about this is we go to our main menu on top. Then with your object selected, we go to edit. And then you see we've got your copy. The shortcut for that is control C and paste control V. So we go control V. Once again, we have an area where we can select, uh, paste it. So I'm just gonna click it there. And then I would say the most simple way, the way I use the most, and I know a lot of other artists do, is just your basic shortcut keys, which is control C and control V like we just saw. So definitely get in the habit of using that. So you'll select your object, press control plus C, and then control plus V to where you wanna paste it click and then you've made your copy so once again just a quick recap make sure your object is selected before you copy it otherwise you will be copying nothing or it might not even be yeah, it's not even available to copy and then you click your copy and then your paste select where you want it press tab to change the origin or press escape to cancel the copy and obviously if you left click it'll make a copy so that is it on copy and pasting with uh, the copy and paste feature if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also we have this nice little search option if you want to isolate your search. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, you can always go here to request a training video and then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys and cheers.